one too to make sure it's coming through on the actual. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three, test one, two, three.
Hi everybody and welcome to Clare GA headquarters here in Clare Abbey for nine hurling and football championship draws that will take place tonight starting from senior football all the way down to junior C hurling. There will be 135 teams or so drawn tonight in all these nine competitions which you could say perhaps three and a half thousand adult hurlers will be in action when the championships start in mid-August I suppose whenever they finish in late October. Again it's been a busy year. Teams are back training in all codes in hurling, football, ladies football and camogie. And I suppose with the leagues on the full flow at the moment, clubs are getting a lot of action. But again, everyone, everyone every year in County Clare and any other county look towards the championship draws to get the buzz going. With us, we had Joe Cooney with us a couple of years and he did fantastic draws. So Jack, you're with us now and I suppose you're looking forward to another year's action. Yeah, we're really, really looking forward to it, Michael. Uh, delighted uh, that the Holland draws are starting and a big weekend coming up this weekend. And yeah. we'd like to wish the Clare footballers and Hurlers all the best over, over the weekend. That's what we all concur with that. It was, as I said, between championship draws, hurling and football, it's probably one of the biggest weekends. And to begin, we wish Brian and Cullum the very, very best to look in both their games in Killarney and in Thurles over the weekend. So we won't delay you any further. We get ready with the Junior C Hurling Championship draws. There are 13 teams in the in the in the in the drum. I just call them out: the Banner, Tulla, Broadford, Kilinina, Kilmeley, Clonbunny, Budike, St Joseph's, Crushine, Innes Diamond, uh, Ogunla, Airog, and Scarf. Okay, we draw the first one. First one out is Aero Guinness. Okay. Right. Second one out is Kilmeli. Third out is Broadford. And fourth out is Budike. That is a group of four. And they're going to sorry, they're going to cross. They're the they're the they're the first team in each group. So Irog is group one, no team number one. Kinmele is group team one in group two. Broadford is team one in group three, and Bodike is team one in group four. So we now go for the second team in group one. And that is Tulla. So Aerog, Jain, Tulla. So Kinmele now will have a partner. And that will be Clon Bunny. So Kinmele and Bunny, and next one joining Broadford will be the Banner. So Broadford and the Banner. And joining Bodike in group four is St. Joseph Door Barefoot. So the third team in group one is of Gunnalo. So they join Erog and Tulla. The third team in group two is Ennis Diamond. Ennis Diamond join Kilmele and Clonbunny. <coughs> the third team in group three joining Broadford and the Banner is Kilinina. Kilinina. And the third team in group four is Crushing. Crushing, Jain, Budike, and St. Joseph Door Barefield. And the last team out will join in group one, the group of four. And that is, if I can get it right, Scarif. So, 
I just call out the groups again. Group one, Aero Guinness, Tulla, Ogunala, and Scarif. Group two, Kilmeli, Clonbunny, and Innes Diamond. Group three, Broadford, The Banner, Kilanina. And group four, Bodike, St. Joseph Door Barefield, and Crusheen. So that's the 13 teams in the Junior C Hurling Championship. They should all be going out on Twitter and they'll be all sent out to the clubs in the very near future. So now we're moving on to the Junior B Hurling Championship. And it's indeed a busy championship. There's 20 teams in the Junior B Hurling Championship. This is a knockout competition. There are four preliminary rounds to be played to get us down to the last 16. So we now draw <coughs> eight pairs. Eight teams will be drawn. The first two out will be A, the next two out will be B, the next two out then after that will be C, and the seventh and eighth drawn out will be D. They will then go become A, B, C, and D for the next round of draws. Okay? So Jack, you're doing a blinder. So one part of A is now Parting. <coughs> Joining Parting shall be Scarif. Parting versus Scarif becomes A. The first half of the B is Corafin. Corafin. First half of group or pairing it B and their compatriots in this will be Kilmele. Kilmele versus Corafin. That's B. Thank you, Jack. And the third team out, or sorry, the fifth team out in which will be pairing C is Milik. Milik will take on. Thank you. Smith O'Brien's. Nice East Third Derby. Milik versus Smith O'Brien's. They are C in the last, but the seventh team out was saying this. Clan Lara. Clan Lara. Become the first half of D. And. They take on Aero Guinness. So, and now what we do is we take a breather for a second and they A, B, C, and D go into the drum jack, if you can put them. They are they all go into the drum. Yeah. And the two. The two the two spheres. Right. Right, okay. So now we will draw round one proper, as we call it. Which we see, should we? So we go now. Jack, thank you. First one out. This will be E in the thing. Six mile bridge. Six mile bridge. Okay. One more. Yes, you can keep drawing away, Jack. You're doing a great job. We'll see what you'll be like when we draw a on the seniors. Six mile bridge, play C. And if I'm right, six mile bridge, play Medico Smith O'Brien's. Okay. Thank you, Jack. Wolf Tones Nashuna. Okay. Wolf Tones Nashuna will be playing B. And if my memory serves me right, that's Corafin or Kilmele. Next one out, Fecal. Fecal. Fecal will be t playing Fecal shall be playing D which is Clan Lara 
our aerial English. Next stop, Rouen. Rouen shall play another letter, the letter A. So Rouen will play the winners of Partine or Scarif. That's, I think, all the letters out of the way. We've had a bit of the night, Jack. Yes. Tubber. <coughs> Tubber will play Clooney Quinn. Tubber versus Clooney Quinn in Junior B Hurling. Next out. Tulla. Tulla will play it. Cora Kathleen, Newmarket and Fergus. Tulla versus Newmarket and Fergus. Next pairing. And Jack has drawn his own club, Kratlock. Kratlock. And Kratlock shall play. I can see the crest from here. Get the barn, white gate. Look at this right. Broadford, Arlehan. I think this will be the last one, Jack, if we do if we're doing it right. Shall play of Callan's Mills, a local derby. So I shall try and recite this back to you. Partine versus Scarif, Cora Finn versus Kilmele, Meelik versus Smith O'Brien, Clonlara versus Sayrog. They are the eight teams in the preliminary round. The first round proper is Six Mile Bridge versus Meelik Smith O'Brien, Wolf Tones versus Cora Finn Kilmele, Fecal versus Clonlara Sayrog Innes, Rouen versus A, A which is Partine Scarif. Broadford versus O'Callaghan's Mills, Tubber versus Clooney Quinn, Tully versus Newmark and Fergus, and Cratlow versus Whitegate. So we'll take a breather for a second and maybe just move out some of the. We'll get ready for the next draw. And again, that was a mammoth. Draw with 20 teams. It's great to see so many teams playing in the Junior B hurling. A lot of teams came in this year because of COVID, as well as in the Junior C. So between the Junior B and Junior C of 33 adult teams, which is a large increase in last year's team in competition. So now we're going into the Junior Junior A football. Sorry, the Junior B football. My apologies for that. Junior B football, there are 16 teams in it. And I should call out the teams. The Banner, Kilmehel, Kilrush Shamrocks, Corafin, um, Gael Shunna, Shannon Gales, Moy, St. Breckens. Partine, Wolf Tones, Lissy Casey, Clan de Gad, Innes Diamond, St. Sennis Kilkey, Clan Bunny, and Cora Clare. Airog. Airog Innes as well. So we shall do that draw and Eight first rounds is knockout competition. So, first out, you ready to go, Jack? Yeah, thank you. Clan Bunny. 
and Clan Bunny shall play Moy. That's a game that there'll be crowds at. Clan Bunny versus Moy. St. Joseph's Milltown pitch has already been prepared for it. The Banner. The Banner shall play Aero Guinness. The Banner versus Aero Guinness. Another local derby. Cusick Park will be ready for that one. Clan de Gad. Doon de Gad. And Clan de Gad shall be playing Lissy Casey. Another local derby. This Jura B could be the best competition of all. Corafin. Corafin shall play St. Sinan's Kill Key. Corafin versus St. Sinan's Kill Key. Thank you, Jack. Shannon Gales, Gail Nishana. In I Wolf Tones, Nishana. Parteen shall play in Junior B football. Kill Mehel. Kill Mehel. They break on St. Brecken's. St. Brecken shall play. Cora Clare. Cora Clare. And the last one out, second last one out, is in a Shall shall play, um, I think we might have, it's, uh, uh, shall play Kilwar Shamrocks. In this time we should play Kilwar Shamrocks, okay? That's fine, so we'll go through that again. Clan Bunny versus Moy. Corafin versus Sinsin's Kilkey. Parteen versus Kilmehel. Shannon Gales versus Wolf Tones and Shunna. Clondy Gad versus Dissy Casey. The Banner versus Day Rogue. Innes Diamond versus Kilrush. And Court Clare versus St. Breckens. Again, a lot of very interesting ties there. A lot of local derbies that would get people going. Again, as we just said earlier on, a lot of teams playing a lot of football this year. No more Sun Hurling, a lot of other teams coming. So there'll be a lot of action when action as soon comes, commences in mid August. Now we're going to Junior A football. Oh. Huh? Sorry, Jun Junior A Hurling. Sorry, Junior A Hurling. My apologies. The high draws on here tonight. So Junior A Hurling is twelve teams in the competition: Broadford, Bellier, Kilmeley, Clooney Quinn, Crusheen. Aina Kilimona, Aero Guinness, Innes Diamond, The Banner, St. Joseph's, Ogunala, and Wolf Tones. There shall be three groups of four with the, with the following teams seeded Kilmele, Clooney Quinn, and Crusheen, as they were all in the county semi finals last year. So they'll be the, they should, they, the, those three will have to be. Drawn, drawn first, so th that's been started. So we'll go, they'll be group one, group two, group three. If that is okay, so Jack has drawn the first one. And the first team to be seeded in group one, if my mathematics, right, mathematics is right, is Clooney Quinn. Clooney Quinn, group one. Group two, head of it, is Crusheen. Crusheen, head of group two. 
and the third seeding on their own. Kilmele, probably one of the best matches last year, the Jury final the winter. I think it went to extra time down below your market against the Mills. Brilliant, brilliant game. Can we be knocking on the doors? Maybe this is this, this year. So now we'll p be picking three more teams in Group 1, three more teams in Group 2, and three more teams in Group 3. So to join Clooney Quinn in Group 1 shall be the banner. Joining Crusheen in Group 2 shall be St. Joseph's Dora Barefield. And joining Kilmele in Group 3 shall be Ogunala. Kilmele and Ogunala. So we go again now, Jack, and the 13, this now will be joining Clooney Quinn and the Banner in Group 1. All Lahan, Broadford, a team that will have serious ambitions this year. They're joining Clooney Quinn and the Banner. Joining Crusheen and Dora Barefield in Group 2 shall be Aeroginish. Aeroginish. So Crusheen, St. Joseph's, and Aeroginish. And the third team in Group C or will, shall be Bellier. Bellier. So Kilmele, Ogunlo, and Bellier. So the final team to go into Group 1. Joining Clooney Quinn, the Banner and Broadford are Wolf Tones Nashuna. Wolf Tones Nashuna. Next up to join Crusheen, St. Joseph's, and in Aero Guinness are Inish Dimon, Inish Diamond Hurling. And the final team, all going well, Jack, you're doing a great job again, is Einik Kilnamona. Aina Kilimona. So just to rehash those again, Group 1, Clooney Quinn, The Banner, Broadford, and Wolf Tones. Group 2, Crusheen, St. Joseph Door Barefield, Aero Guinness, and Dennis Diamond. Group 3, Kilmele, Ogunala, Bellier, and Aina Kilimona. So they're the three groups of 12 teams. A lot of very interesting teams there. Every team will have definitely ambitions in making the knockout stages in that competition. So now we're moving on to the Junior A football. There are 15 teams in the Junior A football. The banner, and the way we're going here is one, in one canister is the banner and Belly Vaughan. As we know, they have to play the junior final in the near future. St. Breckens, Kilnimer, Kilmoria Bricken, Clooney Quinn, Clondigad, Cratlow, Cora Clare, Doombeg, Innes Diamond, Lissy Casey, Melik, St. Joseph's Milltown, St. Sinus Kilkey, and St. Joseph's Dora Barefield. Just in relation to this, before we do the draw, the losers of the Ballyvaughan banner junior A final will be seeded as a team here. So they'll be team one. Whoever comes out, sorry, which, whichever way. So banner Ballyvaughan will be seeded, St. Sinus Kilkey will be seeded, and in Stein will be seeded. seeded. So what we do now is we shall draw one, can one black canister out and that will be the first seeded team. There will be one group with no seeding because there's only three, semi only three semi-finals. St. Sinus Kilkey shall be seeded. The Banner Belly Vaughan, number two. And then in this diamond. And the fourth the fourth team out, we top of the group group four, 
that will be a group of three shall be Clooney Quinn. So Giant Sensinus Kilki shall be Kilmory Ibrickin. Giant the Banner or Bally Vaughan, whoever loses that final, shall be Milik. <coughs> Thank you. Giant in his diamond shall be Kratlo. And Giant Tony Quinn shall be St. Joseph's Milton Malbe. <coughs> So now we're going the third team in group one, the Shell Giants and Sinners and Kilmaria Bricken, are Cora Clare. Joining the banner, Belly Vahan or Milik, shall be Dune Big. Joining in this time, Rakratlo shall be. Kilimer. <coughs> and joining Clooney Quinn and St. Joseph Milltown shall be Lissy Casey. <coughs> so that group is complete. So we have three more now, and they'll be joining group one, two, and three. And that's the junior A draw finished in football. So St. Brecken's shall join St. Sinus Kilkey, Kilmory Brecken, and Cora Clare. Join the banner, Belly Vaughan, Medic or Doom Big, shall be Clan de Ged. Clan de Ged. And the last team out to join in this time in Kratlo or Kilimer shall be St. Joseph's Dora Barefield. So I should call out those groups quickly again. <coughs> Group 1, St. Sinus Kilkey or Kilmory or Bricken. Group 2, oh, sorry, since St. Sinus, Kilkey, Kilmory, Bricken, Cora Clare, and St. Breckens is Group 1. Group 2 is the loser of the Banner or Belly Vaughan, Milik, Dumbeg, or Clanty Gad. Group 3 is Innes Diamond, Cratlow, Kilimer, St. Joseph, or Barefield. And Group 4 is Clooney Quinn, St. Joseph, Midtown, Lisa Casey. That's the 15 teams decided. As we said, the jury final has yet to be played. The brilliant final shall be played. There's not a very even groups. So I think St. Breckens won the Junior B Championship last year with an exceptionally young team. They'll be making inroads to perhaps think that they can rattle the Junior A Championship definitely with the youth at the head. Again, we're getting through the draws very quickly and next up is the intermediate hurling draws and thankfully that's slightly more easy to do. So the, <coughs> the 16 teams in that of Callahan's Mills, Tubber, Tulla, Killinina, Clanlara, Newmarket, Corrafin, Clark Castle, Cratlow, Six Mile Bridge, Aina Kilimona, St. Joseph's, Smith O'Brien's, Bodike, Parteen, and Rouen. Um, there are 16 teams in the Intermediate Championship. There are four groups of four with the top two teams in each group going forward to the quarterfinals. <coughs> there are seedings as it was passed by the Masters Fixtures group this year for all the competitions that can be. So the, seed, the, the three teams that will be drawn first are Tubber, Smith O'Brien's and St. Joseph's because they were in the county semifinals last year. So the first one, Jack, please, will be topping a group, the seed. And that is Tubber. Last intermediate final last year, last three or four of them in the last five years. They'll be hoping to go one step further this year. So Tubber and the second, the top team in Group B or shall be Mogowney Breen, Smith O'Brien's. And the third team, I can see the crest already. St. Joseph Dora Barefield, Shane Dowling and Michael File hoping to make a big impact. The BJ Rogue in the Clare Cup last week, so that's sending out a signal to everybody. And this team is just top of the group, group four. 
is your marker and Fergus, Cora Kathleen. <coughs> so now we go drawing the team that will join Tubber. Three more teams will be entered into each group. Kilinina, Tubber versus Kilinina. We'd have to play that in Crochine. Giant Smith O'Brien's are O'Callaghan's Mills. Smith O'Brien's and O'Callaghan's Mills. <coughs> Thank you. Thanks, Jack. St. Joseph George Barefield take on Clan Lara. They join Clan Lara will be playing at some stage. And joining your Mark and Fergus in Group D is Lubandiga, Bodike. Did well last year, held their own, and we hope to go a step further this year. So now we go to the third team in Group 1, joining Tubber and Kilinina, shall be Aina Kilimona, who gave Tubber a big scare last year in Corofin. I think Tubber beat him in the very last second. <coughs> John Smith O'Brien and O'Callaghan's Mills are Cratlow. Smith O'Brien, O'Callaghan's Mills and Cratlow. Well done, Jack. And joining O'Cal I'm oh, sorry, St. Joseph O'Barefield and Clanara are Partine. Partine. And the last team, or oh, sorry, sorry. The, the third team in group D is Clare Castle. Clare Castle joined your Mark and Fergus and Bodike. A couple of good games there. So we're going for the fourth team in each group. Drehe down in Carnig. Six Mile Bridge joined Tubber, Kilinina, and Nine Kilimo. So group one is concluded. <coughs> group two to join Killaloo. The Mills and Kratlo are Tulla. A team that felt didn't go as well as I thought last year. They'll be gunning for road this year. The last team to join Bearfield, Clan Lair and Partine, shall be Corafin. Many people tipping them with their youth to come through in the next year or two. Maybe this is their time. And the last one, says Jack with Lee, is join your market, but I, Clare Castle, is Rouen. Rouen. So I just call them out again. Tubber, Kilinina, Aina Kilimona, Six Mile Bridge. Smith O'Brien's, The Mills, Kratlo, Tulla. Third group, Bearfield, Clonlara, Partine and Corofin. Fourth group, Newmarket, Bodike, Clarecastle and Rouen. So there are 16 teams, and that's going to be some championship compared with the action we saw last year. Good draws, a lot of interesting ties in that. A lot of teams there. Some of the big guns have been kept apart, but they'll definitely meet. <coughs> so now we're getting near to the Intermediate Football Championship. Much paper here, it's very hard to find what you're looking for. Okay, intermediate football. This, I think, is our seventh draw. We're nearly there, Jack. We've gone over the hill. Do it all. That's it. There are 12 teams in intermediate football championship, three groups of four Curra Finn, Killadicert, and Shannon Gales to be seeded. The teams that are in the championship are Killadicert, Kilfenora, Curra Finn, Cool Mean, Aerog. Shannon Gales, this scanner, Michael Cusick's, Nave Owen, the winner of the Banner and Bally Vaughan, O'Curry's, and Wolf Tones. So three groups of four, and the group winner, three runners up, and the two best third place teams qualify for the knockout stages. Sounds a bit complicated, but I'm sure you, you know the information already. So, the first three teams come out and will be seeded and top their groups, the three groups. So, first one out, thanks, Jack. Killadicert. Killadicert. Group one, Killadicert, team one. Group two, team one. Currafin, seeded. Well done. And the last team out, if we've done it right, 
Shall we? Gael na shana. So group one, topping is kila dicert. Group two is korofin topping it. And group three is shanning gael. So now we pick three more teams <coughs> in each group. Kila dicert, I will be joined by Mihal Kisog, Michael Cusicks. Joining Corofin shall be Navon. I think a bit of a clash of jerseys there straight away. Corofin and Navon. Joining the Gales shall be in the second team in that group. Or Corries. Nestry Derby. And joining Kid Dysart and Michael Cusicks as a third team in group one shall be this scanner, this scanner. Joining Corofin and Navon in group two shall be Cool Mean, Cool Mean. And the third team for joining Oak Corries and, and the Gales shall be Aeroginus, Aerog. So three more to do it in this one in each group if we've done it right. And we have a nice one. Kilfenora. So Kilfenora will play in Michael Q6 in some match. That'll be a great game. We've, we'll fix that for Corofin. The fourth team out, Giant Corofin, Navon and Cool Mean are Wolf Tones, Nishuna. Wolf Tones. And the last team out, Joining the Gales or Curries and Aero Guinness shall be last but not least the winner of the Junior Red Championship this year, the Banner or Belly Vaughan. So great pairings there on that. A lot of local derbies. Again, as we said there, all we need was Corofin in with Michael Cuse and Kirfenor. We could have run a blitz somewhere, the three teams and with each other. So that's the seventh <coughs> draw done <coughs> in the championships. Again, We've done everything up now, so we're hitting into the two big ones now, the senior football and the senior hurling draws, which I'm sure a lot of people have been waiting for. But again, there's been a lot of great draws, a lot of great groups in all the championships we've drawn to date. So I think, hopefully, the attendances will be back and you'll have bumper crowds at all the games in August, September and October. So... Senior football. Senior hurling, sorry. Senior hurling draws. Oh yeah, makes it makes won't make any difference. That's senior. <coughs> the senior hurling draws. Seventeen teams. Whitegate. Broadford. Bellier. Kilmele, Clark Castle, Clooney Quinn, Clonlara, Newmarket, Cratlow, Crusheen, Six Mile Bridge, Aina Kilimona, Aerog, O'Callaghan's Mills, Fecal, with Tones of Shunna, and Scarif. Right, so 17 teams in the championship, last year's semi finals to be seeded. They are Six Mile Bridge, Aerog, Bellier, and the Mills. There'll be three groups of four and one group of five. The group one shall be the group of five. Okay, so the top two sides qualify to the quarterfinals. So first Jack will we'll be drawing the seat, which, <coughs> the four semifinals, which group they'll be topping. So Jack, ready to go? Do you get nervous, Jack? Very nervous. Okay, you, you look that, you look it. O'Callaghan's Mills, beaten finalist last year. Fantastic season. Callan's Mills, Group 1. That's something Joe Cooney would have pulled out. Yeah. Well done. Six Mile Bridge. Top of Group 2. Top of Group 3. Bellier. And top of group four, Aero Guinness. 
So just to say it again, the mills are, are the team one, group one. The bridge are team one, group two. Ballier are team one, group three. <coughs> and Eurogin is team one, group four. So now we've, we draw again, and the team that should join Aina Kilimorna, oh sorry, O'Callan's mill, sorry, just saw the logo, is Aina Kilimorna, the mills in Aina Kilimorna. Mills as must be absolutely delighted, so Nine Kilimorna must be delighted to get that pairing. And joining Six Mile Bridge <coughs> are Clerk Castle. Six Mile Bridge and Clerk Castle. Joining Ballier are Allahan, Broadford. <coughs> and the last and the second team to join, the next team to join the Arrow group are. Cora Kathleen, New Markle and Fergus. Third team to join the Mills and Aina Kilimona are Get the Bond, White Gate. A team that does very well every year. Joining the Bridge and Clare Castle is Wolf Tones Nishuna. Wolf Tones. Where's Cutler, Jack? Did you put him in the draw at all? I don't know. I'm going to check. Yeah. Bellier and Brawford are joined by Crusheen. Thanks, Jack. No problem, Michael. Yeah. Giant Nero, and your Mark and Fergus shall be Clooney Quinn. Clooney Quinn. The fourth team <coughs> now in each group. Join the Mills, I need kill and white gate shall be kill melee. Love hot shots there. The fourth team in group two, join the bridge to Castle and Shannon shall be Scarif, intermediate hurling champions from last year and deserving champions at that. Join in Bellier, Brawford, Crusheen shall be. Pratlow, come in, Jack. I thought you didn't put him in the hall, Mike. Yeah. <coughs> I already see the group of death. I didn't even finish yet. <laughs> and join A Rogue, your market, Tony Quinn, shall be Fecal, unbeaten in the Clare Cup so far. And the last team out, that'll be in group one, join the Mills, Ina Kilmona, White and Kilmele, if our homework is done right, is. Clonlara. I'm sure the Twitter accounts are going mad just around now. So I just call them out again. Group one, O'Callan's Mills. Group two, sorry, group one on entirety. O'Callan's Mills, Aini Kilimona, Whitegate, Kilmele and Clonlara. <coughs> group two, The Bridge, Clare Castle, Shannon and Scarif. Group three, Bellier, Broadford, Crusheen and Cratlow. And group four, Airog, Your Market, Tony Quinn and Fecal. I don't think anyone's going to be. Every group there is difficult. There's not going to be an awful lot of tight matches in that. As I said earlier on, if crowds can come back, there'll be massive crowds at Venus with all those games. The Bridge are going for three in a row. And as Christy Murray said, it'll take a good team to beat them. So we're getting ready now for the last draw of the evening. <coughs> the senior. Football Championship draw. <coughs> there are <coughs> 13 teams in it. Kilmory Bricken, Kilmehel, Kilroy Shamrocks, Clandigad, Cratlaw, Cora Clare, Doom Beg, Airhug, <coughs> Innes Diamond, Lissy Casey, St. Brecken's, St. Joseph's, Sharna Carrock, and St. Joseph's, Gort Nave Joseph, Gortlemont in who won the Intermediate Football Championship last year. There's two groups of four, one group of five. <coughs> the group of five, the two of the seeded teams, which will be the four, the four seeded teams are the teams Cratlow, Kilmurray, St. Breckens, Lisa Casey, that were all county semi-finals last year. In the group of five, two seeded teams will be in that. In the other groups of four, there will be one seeded team each. So. We start with draw the four seeded teams first, please, Jack. <coughs> and 
and the team that'll top group one, Kilmurray of Brickin. Kilmurray of Brickin are group one, team one. <coughs> Thank you, Jack. Team one, group two, St. Brickens, St. Brickens. Team one, group three, Lissy Casey, dark horses for the championship according to a lot of experts. And the fourth team is Kratlo. Okay. So the first. What? Up the train. Which. Uh, no. Um, first team out, next one we'll just go group, group two. Yeah, huh? Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, sorry, my apologies. Yeah, Cratline, Kilmory, Brickin are the, they're the two, they're the two seeded teams. Sorry, I understand now. So, um, next team out, giant, Saint, they will be joining. Um, St. Brecken's is St. Joseph's Door Barefield. And next one out, Aero Guinness, shall be joining Missy Casey. <coughs> Third team in the group of five, joining Kilmory Bricken and Kratlow, shall be Ennis Diamond. <coughs> joining St. Brecken's and St. Joseph's Door Barefield shall be the Shams, Kilrush Shamrocks. And giant Nissi Casey in Aero Guinness shall be Doombeg. The fourth team out, the giant Kilmory, Cratler and the Simon, shall be Cora Clare. The fourth team out, the giant Breckens, St. Joseph's, and Kilrush Shamrocks shall be Kilmehel. The fourth team out to join Lissy Casey, Aero Guinness, and Doombeg shall be Clondigad. <coughs> and the last team out to join Kilmory, Cratlow, in the Steinman Court player shall be St. Joseph's, Milton, Malbe. That's some group, lads. So I call out. <coughs> Group 1, Kilmory Bricken, Cratlow, Innes Diamond, Court Clare, St. Joseph Milltown. Group 2, St. Brecken's, St. Joseph Door Barefield, Kilmore Shamrocks, and Kilmehel. And Group 3, Lissy Casey, Air Oak, Doombeg, and Clandigat. If you thought the senior hurling draws were good, Group 1 in the senior football is absolutely outstanding. There's possibly every team that championship would want to make the knockout stages, there'll be three or four, we think they can win the championship. So again, that is all our draws done for the night. Apologies if there's any errors. We've just got a bit confused up here in our time, but what, what harm about is a lot of work. 135 teams were drawn. Everything was done, thankfully, right. And let the action begin. And again, thanks very much to Jack for assisting and anyone else that had prepared this work here today. And let the games begin in a couple of months' time. Thank you very much. Come on,